Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, today I'm at Cumidwell in the Ogwin Valley. And a bit later on, I'm going to be climbing up through that cleft at the top of the cliff called the Devil's Kitchen to get up to the ridge top and visit Glidavaur, Glidavach and the Castle of the Winds. Now I'm really sorry you're a bit late joining me. It's about half six in the morning and I've been here for about an hour and I was treated to the most fabulous light show as the sun came up. We're tending to lose the reds and gold colours now, but it was rather fabulous. Unfortunately, I was a bit too busy capturing images to talk you through anything. So a bit like my previous early morning trip out on the Watkin path, you'll have to just make do with the stills, I'm afraid. So I'm pretty much done here, down at Cumidwell at the moment, uh, and it's time to uh, head off up that cliff face. Just one quick thing I did want to say while I'm here. I've heard quite a few vloggers mention when they come to Cumidwell that they're at Devil's Kitchen. And in fact, the Devil's Kitchen is just that tiny little dark cleft at the uh, top of the ridge there. This whole area isn't called the Devil's Kitchen. The locals call that little cleft Tull D, which literally translates as black hole. Um, I don't know where the anglicised name came from, but uh, it is quite a sexy name, and I think that's perhaps why people tend to brand this whole area as that, but it really isn't. So uh, I expect to be out for quite a while today. It's going to be a really tough climb up to the top. Um, we've got some lovely conditions though. Lovely crisp cold early spring morning. It's late March, perfect conditions. The light might be a little bit harsh later on. There's very little cloud cover at the moment and I'm not sure there's any dew to come over. On the plus side that should mean that uh, the ridges aren't going to be completely hidden in mist. So when I get up the top there should should still be some photography to be had. Do you know what? You wouldn't think this was Great Britain. This scenery is absolutely stunning. I'm about 45 minutes up towards Tulti, not far to go now, um, but I was forced to stop and get a picture of Penarolwen. It's got a lovely little slice of cloud, beautiful morning light on it, and it's reflected perfectly in the absolutely still water of uh, Llynidwal. Not a breath of wind, the rocks have been a bit icy, I've had to be quite careful, but what a morning, unbelievable. A couple of the images I've taken this morning have been suitable for the high res mode on this camera and this is one of those in particular. There's no movement at all in the scene so what I do is I switch it into high res mode. The camera takes a number of images slightly shifting the sensor uh, about a pixel between each of the exposures, stitches them together in camera and produces an 80 megapixel RAW file. Absolutely incredible. But this sort of scene is perfect for it. There's uh, a beautiful composition here. What I've got is Penner Olwyn reflected in the absolutely perfectly still waters of, of Llyn Idwal. It's, it's a beautiful scene. Um, the mountain is just perfect, half light, half shade. And I really like that the shade on the left hand side of it is going to be dark and I'm going to leave it dark in post. I'm not going to try and pull too much out of the shadows. Exposure wise, not too complicated really, pretty straightforward. Um, I've shot it at 21 millimeters f5.6. I've got a circular polarizer on. 
um, and I've also got a 0.9 soft grad. Um, the valley in the foreground is pretty dark, so I needed to balance it because the light half of the Penarolwen with the lovely little piece of cloud on it is, um, is pretty bright in the morning light. But this is just sensational. If you ever get the chance to come here in conditions like that, please make the effort. If you're a photographer and you like your landscapes, you won't be disappointed here, honestly. So I'm just going to finish up here now, probably take a couple more images just to be on the safe side. And then in about 10 minutes, I'll be on my hands and knees climbing over some loose rocks to get up into Tull D. Uh, hopefully be up on the ridge in about an hour or so. Well, I finally reached the summit of Glidavaur. Uh, my apologies that all you saw on the way up was a montage of stills, but it's been a really long, hard climb. Unfortunately, as soon as I got up here, the mist rolled in, so the images that I'd been hoping to get really don't look like they're on the cards. Um, this ridge is absolutely famous for these really otherworldly, jagged rocks all the way along the ridge. It's, it's quite an amazing landscape. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you some of it if this mist clears up at all, but um, well worth the climb up here, even though you can't see anything. It's just an incredible place to be. Well, I've had a few uh, hikers for company briefly. They had a pit stop and a bite to eat sitting on the summit and they've all gone now. So it's just me and the mist and the rocks and it's fabulous. There's absolutely no chance of any photography. I did get a couple of exposures across the valley to Snowdon Summit. I'm pretty much right up above Penna Pass. If you know Snowdonia at all, I can see the Penna Pass car park about uh, about 500 meters below me. Um, I'm up at uh, the Glidervaur summit is 1001 meters. Um, so I was hoping for some shots of the Snowden horseshoe with these jagged rocks that stick up in the foreground. But I really don't think that, uh, I don't think I'm going to get anything now. I might as well think about heading off. Um, I did get a couple of exposures. So if I, uh, if I manage to get anything that's worth uh, processing, I'll let you take a look at it. Pretty simple exposure though, as you can see, I've still got the grad filters on, uh, on the front of the lens. Um, so it's about uh, two stops of soft grad I'm using. Um, it, when the light did break through, it was really harsh. We're getting on for midday now. So that's how long it's taken me to get up here, by the way. Um, but yeah, exposure wise, very straightforward. F7.1, um, don't know what the shutter speed was, 50th of a second, something like that. Uh, I'm using Aperture Priority, a um, little bit of exposure compensation, uh, and uh, 38 millimeters. Yeah, it would have been great if there was some light. It's getting darker by the second. I, I'd be astounded if you can even see me now. So I'm going to pack up and start heading back down, and um, hopefully once I get below the cloud base, we'll be able to get some more photography done.
Well, I think my luck's in at the moment as far as the light's concerned. Um, if I look over towards uh, the Pass of Flamberis, um, it's completely clouded in. There's nothing to be seen at all. And that's where I was earlier. But what I've done now is I've come over to the other side of the ridge and I'm overlooking the Ogwen Valley. What I've got in my frame here on my stills camera is uh, Castel de Gwynt, which is Castle of the Winds. Uh, and then I've got Glidervach Summit, which is just catching some nice light. Um, and then the whole of uh, the southern ridge of Truven, um, which is completely in sunlight. It's, it's really weird. It, it, it's almost um, sort of bleached out. It, it's strange. Normally when you see Truven, it looks dark and imposing. Um, it's also kind of strange when you're looking down on Truven because normally you're looking up at it. Um, but I got a composition with um, all three peaks sort of running along um, in the composition. I've got a bit of sticking up rock in the foreground and because there's this huge chasm between me and the flank of uh, Glidervach, it gives that sense of depth. If I didn't have that in the image, I don't think it would be quite as powerful. Um, it sort of leads your eye all the way around. Um, I'm hoping that the light will play ball. Um, I've got a few exposures off already, but not super happy with them. So I'm going to wait it out and see if I can get anything better. Uh, brew up a cup of coffee and eat the last of my food before I head off. Fabulous day out though. It really doesn't matter if I don't get any photography. I can take pictures anytime, but getting up onto these high ridges, not getting your hair blown off, absolutely brilliant. Well, I've made it almost back down to uh, Ogwin Cottage now. It's been a really long walk down, a good three hours. Most of it I was navigating with uh, my GPS because I had zero visibility and an awful lot of the paths on the way down actually aren't paths at all. Um, they're marked on the map, but there's nothing on the ground to show you you're actually on the path. So you've kind of got to know your way about when the conditions are like that. So I had to take it really slow and careful. But uh, back down safely, just working on a final image now. I love these little mountain streams. The composition I've got going on at the moment is a nice little dog leg. I like the way the water is coming down one angle and bouncing off a rock. So I'm hoping I can get plenty of movement in it. I've stepped away slightly from the stream, so hopefully you can hear me OK. But uh, let me show you what I'm up to on the camera and hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. So this is where I'm set up and what I particularly liked is the way the water's bouncing off those two rocks. I like the dog leg shape of this little cascade. I love these little mountain streams, the way the water is so clear. Um, so with a polarizing filter, hopefully I'll be able to pick out those rocks in the bottom of that splash pool. Well, I had yet another brilliant day out in the mountains, a really long day today. Um, it's getting on for about five o'clock. So I've been out for 12 hours and pretty much non-stop, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Absolutely fabulous. It would have been great if I'd had some decent light on the high ridge, but you can't have everything. At least it wasn't blowing a gale um, and the conditions were actually quite kind to me. So I think I'll leave it there for this one. Really appreciate you coming along with me. Thank you ever so much. Um, oh, and if you haven't done it yet, why not subscribe now and join me next time. Cheers.